Good afternoon, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for Wednesday. Today I'm reading for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. And this reading here is for Pisces. Welcome Pisces. The reading starts with the Moon and Stars tarot card. And out for you came Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is about being overwhelmed, some obsession and resilience. And the meaning of the card is burdens. You might be overwhelmed and burdened as you may have bitten off more than you can chew. Emotions are high as you obsess over obligations disregarding your own happiness. So take time to relax and look after yourself as well as nurture your relationships with others. The desire for perfection within your career is causing you stress. Do things with intention and for a cause you believe in and remember why you are doing what you are doing. There is a star message, step back occasionally to reflect and also to reason because you are not responsible for everything in your life. Next card is the Tarot of the Divine card and out came four of coins and the four of coins of this deck relates to Peru and is a Emara folktale called Condor's Wife. The four of coins represents some greed and some unwillingness to open up or to share things with others. Condor covets his wife who does not like his lifestyle or living with him. He recognizes her unhappiness, but he is unwilling to make any changes or to set her free. The card is about hoarding some possession, financial stability, materialism and stinginess. Now we come to the Kremolkin's Curious Cat's Tarot card and out came Three of Swords. And here the Three of Swords is dedicated to the cat Sunny. Look into the cat's eyes and they will tell you that although the pain is genuine, and her heart is damaged. Sunny is one to not give her deceiver the gratification of seeing her weep. Her blood trips defiantly from her wound, feeding the lotus below and healing and strengthening her heart. When you find your trust has been betrayed, the Three of Swords is usually not too far behind. Whether it is a cheating partner or a co-worker who stabbed you in the back or a friend who decided to call it quits, the energy of the Three of Swords is one that often leaves us feeling a stiff, sharp sting to our heart. Like the cat, you too know the painful truth and the Three of Swords appears as a reminder that out of this situation you also will find your strength. The first sword may have created your awareness. The second sword might have confirmed what you already knew. And the third sword, well, 
That is the one you will use to cut a cord and sever the relationship. You have the power to free yourself so that the healing process for you can begin. There are two sides in every relationship and depending on the reading, the three of swords may indicate no matter how gentle you are, the other person's perception may be leading to attacking you. So, energy attributes, when they are positive, you have the ability to recognize when it is time to end or leave a situation such as a toxic relationship. And when the energy attributes are negative, you might be feeling lost, you might be unable to move beyond your pain. Next card is the Sacred Destiny Oracle card, and that one is called Going Forward. And the Going Forward relates to grassy hills. Grasses, they are one of the most abundant families of plants on the earth. From the earliest days of human history, grasses have played an important role in human life and life as a whole. We eat grasses, we eat oat, barley and wheat, which are kinds of grass. We have thatched our roofs with it, we have fed our animals with it, and we walked on it, and we even had picnics on it, maybe even made love on it. The crasses matrix of roots prevents erosion, and its lush rabbit crows produces volumes of oxygen. Crasses are one of the world's most significant food sources. Crass in past times has symbolized growth, productiveness, prosperity, new ideas and fulfillment. The sacred landscape wants you to know when you receive this card in your reading, fertility, productivity, love, health, abundance and fulfillment are all ahead for you. Things are growing and expanding in your life. So keep going forward. Sometimes it may be easy to be distracted by what's occurring around you, but this card indicates that it is important to not let anything hold you back from increasing the bounty in your life. So step up and know that your needs will be taken care of. Your life is escalating and intensifying in the best possible way and for your highest good. And the last card is the Wisdom of the House of Night card, and that one is called Crove. I, Nyx, the goddess of night, invite you to my Crove to heal your wounds and mend your heart. Now is the time to apologize to anyone you have harmed, make your friendships whole again and choose healing over anger and pain. Choosing my beautiful grove is a powerful sign that you are at a wondrous and strong time in your life. Show compassion and kindness to others. No one is perfect yet. Imperfection is perfect as it is. So if you are hurting, know that it will pass 
and that I watch over you. If someone you love is hurting, take this time to be there for this person. The sacred grove heals all aches and all pains, especially a heart that has been wounded. So, Pisces, that was your reading. I thank you very much for listening. I wish you a wonderful Wednesday. I wish you a great rest of the week. And maybe tomorrow I'm back with something because I have to make up for last week's not fulfilling my promise. Okay, so tomorrow most likely I will come and have something in a reading. Okay, so take care Pisces. Thank you very much and goodbye.